My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Folks, we have truly an amazing car story here. A 1959 Chevy Impala with two actual miles. Two original miles is all that's been put on this car. Two. It's from the Lambrecht Chevrolet collection. Very interesting story. Uh, in the rural Nebraska, Lambrecht Chevrolet consisted of Mr. Lambrecht and one mechanic, and he ran that Chevy dealer for 50 years that way. I guess the best way I would describe it, he was a bit of a car hoarder. He took people's trade-ins and parked them, and he had about 500 cars when he passed away, and they sold off his, his estate. And uh, 50 of them were new cars like this one that he just put away. If it didn't sell at the end of the model year, he just parked it. And then he also took people's trade-ins and parked them. So it was a real famous auction. A town of 1,700 people had 30,000 people there for the auction when they sold these cars. Now, unfortunately, they were not cared for uh, in the best condition. So there is restoration work that's been done to this car. They did a really nice job of preserving as much as they could and uh, making it look like a beautiful new car again. But the fact still remains two original miles. This could very well be the lowest mile car from the 1950s. Uh, I mean, where are you gonna find a car with less than two miles on it from the 50s? So it's amazing. Uh, if you read about it, if you Google it, the Lambrecht uh, Chevy auction, really, really interesting stuff. I'm just giving you some of the basic facts. It also comes with pictures at the auction. Here's pictures before it was restored. This is at the auction. The car also includes, I have the originals, but the order form, the original invoice. Uh, the car has the original title signed off by the dealer in 1959. It has the original title. That's what you will get with this car. Uh, so anyway, it was bought, I think in uh, seven or 13 years ago, I think it was 13 years ago, they had the auction. This gentleman restored it, showed the car. Uh, very, very interesting, very rare opportunity. I've been doing this all my life. I've never seen anything like this. So right now, even though it's only got two miles on it, why don't you join me? Let's go for a spin. Uh, underneath the car was just cleaned up, painted. They put the primer on the floors again, you know, resprayed it. it has the original spiral shocks, uh, just cleaned up and preserved. The car functions really well. They did go through whatever necessary, like inside the car. It's all listed on our website, but inside the car, uh, they went through lights, they even went through the clock, and just made sure things functioned really well. The body was repainted. Uh, it's original two-tone colors. All the original trim was just straightened and polished. So this is all the original trim on the car. They did re-chrome the original bumpers. But everything is beautiful. This is show quality now. It fits really nice. All the original glass is real nice and clear. Actually, I think one of the windows was busted out. They had to replace one side window. I don't remember which one. But again, all the moldings are straight and shiny and polished. Uh, hubcaps are mint. It has reproduction tires. Those are the original rims. They were sandblasted and repainted. I mean, it just... Shuts like a new car. It's almost a new car. Uh, original windshield, real nice. Uh, everything fits real nice. All the trim is real nice. We have the original T3 headlights. They're in the trunk. You did put new ones in. So uh, there's a, uh, I'll open the trunk. There's a whole bunch of tubs of stuff in there. Like I think the master cylinder, you re, uh, put a new one on. We have the original items like that. Bunch of literature comes with the car, books, manuals. So it's the original 283 motor, and it runs like a, it's quiet as a mouse in slippers. Uh, they did rebuild the carburetor. They did put new valve cover gaskets on it. They painted it. There's orange overspray paint on the exhaust manifold. That's still the factory orange paint 
Uh, it has the heat shields around the uh, spark plugs. He did put a Delco reproduction battery and uh, reproduction GM hoses. Uh, the firewall is the original paint on the firewall. The interior is a new upholstery kit from Impala Bob, so it's a good quality uh, upholstery. The seats, the door panels, the carpet, uh, the dash area is original and in really nice shape. Ashtray and cigarette lighter have never been used. They did repaint in here, has a new weather strip, new mats, and again, comes with all sorts of extra parts, touch-up paint, literature, and a car cover. Has a matching uh, spare. The jack is there. Well, we fire it up for you. So, well, it's a 283 V8 automatic. Uh, he also ordered cars that were basic, basic transportation. He didn't order cars with frills and decked out. So this is a typical car that he bought and sold uh, to his customers. So not a lot of options. It has an oil filter. It was an option back then. It's even a radio delete, so it has the plate over the radio hole. Notice there's no antenna. If we get the right key in the ignition, we'll fire it right up. Watch this. That motor has not been rebuilt, and it runs just as nice as can be once it warms up. Love box liner is the original, the manual's in there. Seat cushions are real nice and firm. Headliner uh, is mint. Visors, I think the visors are original. I got just enough patina, they don't look brand new. See the cat's eyes tail lights? Watch this. I love that. Original generators, just rebuilt, never been painted. Original radiator. So a two-mile car, again, just really think about that. Is there another one in existence? A 1959 Ford, anything from the 50s. Is there a car out there from the 50s with two miles on it? I bet there can't be many. Now's your chance to own one. Just a great conversation piece if you go to a car show and you set up that sign you start telling people two miles and they're not going to believe you and you start telling them the story you'll have a group of people around you talking about it we do have an enclosed car trailer that's available if you decided that you were going to take it to shows and didn't want to put miles on it there is a trailer that is available uh, for purchase visit volocars.com you can read more of the interesting story on this car and plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman. They'll answer your questions. I just gave you my impression of what I see and what I've learned about it through my inspection. Uh, but visit volocars.com. They'll help you with the paperwork, financing, delivery. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one that comes out. Obviously, you never know what will be next. Thanks for watching.